Before we check out some Broncos trade targets, shout out a random Broncos player for me down in the comments section. I'll get it started. How about Brendan Langley? If you haven't seen the video yet, after this video's over, go Google Brendan Langley fight. And if you ever thought you had a bad day at work, no. This guy, who you'll see, had a much worse day. But shout out a random player down below to start today's show. Welcome into the Broncos Breakdown by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Matthew Peterson. And coming up on today's show, I've got some trade targets for the Broncos as we get into OTAs, into kind of some, I don't know, real football of the offseason. Now, I want to preface by saying this off the top. A trade seems very unlikely. The Broncos lost a lot of draft capital to get Russell Wilson, and that's an awesome draft pick, Russell Wilson. So they don't have a first, and they don't have a second next season. They're going to weigh on some comp picks to see how things shake out, but I'm guessing George Payton is not in the business of giving up more draft capital, but what if he goes and looks at the Rams and said, wow, they said F them picks, and that got them a ring, and then he watches some OTAs this week and into June, and he's like, ooh, I thought this player at this position would look a lot better than he really is. I've got a Super Bowl roster. Let's go chips in the middle of the table, F them picks, and get some star players, well, star-ish, this late in the game to try and complete my roster. So, my first trade target is a guy he has some familiarity with. It's Eric Kendricks, the linebacker for the Minnesota Vikings. The reason I picked out Kendricks was Denver kind of needs some help at inside linebacker, and Kendricks... Would be an awesome player to go get. Last season for Minnesota, five sacks and two interceptions. He's been the heart and soul of this defense in a lot of ways uh, since coming to Minnesota, being a second-round pick. Now, we got to look at the finances behind this because Kendrick's contract has a $9.1 million base salary for this season. So if you're going to make a trade for someone at this time of the year, this is typically what you'd expect to have to pay them, right? A lot of their, uh, well, some of their contracts already been paid, like their signing bonus and whatnot. So Denver's got the money. That's a lot, though, for a linebacker, especially when you've seen how Peyton has, I don't know, approached that position. You know, he got a little cheap on it, sort of, right? Josie Jewell, two-year, $11 million contract, traded for Jonas Griffith last year, signed Alex Singleton for cheap. Doesn't value that position a whole ton. But maybe George Payne will go, wow, you know what? I was in that regime in Minnesota when we drafted Kendricks, and I loved him. So let's get a reunion. I also don't see Minnesota being major sellers right now, but we also don't know much about Minnesota. Kevin O'Connell, new head coach. Quezzi Adolfa Mensa, new GM. We haven't had much of a blueprint on them. We don't know what their tendencies are, so maybe they don't feel very attached to Kendricks. Uh, the previous regime gave him, gave him a nice five-year hefty extension, but for all I know, Quezzi goes, yeah, if you want to give us a pick, we'll go and shop Kendricks off. So who do you want the Broncos to trade for? Is it Eric Kendricks, or do you want to go with someone else? It's the pinned comment on today's show, so if a YouTube ad break comes on by, take advantage of it. Go down to the comment section and let me know. My next trade target is Andre Dillard, the offensive tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles. In fact, let's lump number two with number three here. Liam Eichenberg, another tackle, this time for the Miami Dolphins. You want to compare these guys head-to-head -head last season? Good way to do that. Pro football focus. Best way to really evaluate players in the trenches. Dillard, who has been long part of trade rumors because there's just not a starting role for him in Philadelphia despite being a very good six man on that offensive line would make a lot of sense for the Broncos because, well, right tackle, you're kind of banking on Billy Turner. And that's not a fine, that's not, that's not a bad, you know, uh, bank to make right there. But for all we know, after some OTA reps this week, maybe we see Peyton want to go a different direction. But you compare them head to head, and it's it, it's one side, Diller. Now, Eichenberg has actually been a starter, right? And he's not been a very good starter. So he'd be a much cheaper option. But if you could get Andre Dillard for cheap, right? He's been a part of NFL trade rumors since, like, October last year, going into the NFL trade deadline. If you could get him for cheap, 
Philadelphia Eagles go, you know what? Let's just get him off our books. There's no sense in having a very good backup here when we could get a draft pick. Maybe that's what the Eagles are thinking. I don't know. I don't work for Philadelphia. Then I'm all for that. That would be an awesome trade for the Broncos to really add some depth to that offensive tackle position. Before we check out some other trade targets, we are in a sub battle with our Chiefs channel here at Chat Sports, hosted by Harrison Graham. And we started today, Monday. Harrison and I shook hands. All right, let's see how many subs we can both get this week. We have a one sub lead, very narrow. So if you hate the Chiefs, you hate the Chiefs, or if you hate the Chiefs, hit that big red button and subscribe. Suck at Harrison Graham and suck at Casey. My next trade target is Chuck Clark. The safety for the Baltimore Ravens. So, a couple reasons why I tossed good old Chuck on the screen here. For one, I know that the Ravens were shopping Chuck Clark. So that's like step one if you want to look at trade targets. What are players or who are players that teams are trying to get rid of? Now, a Baltimore Ravens podcast that covers the team was one of the first ones on the scene here about the Ravens uh, trying... Was it Eagles? Po- wait, Ravens podcast. Yeah, what was it? Eagles? Eagles podcast on this one saying the Ravens were trying to trade Chuck Clark during the draft and they talked to the Eagles. Our understanding and it is still is that they were not interested in Chuck Clark at that point. Now you say, how can that be? That guy's a starting safety. He's losing his starting job. job. So this is an Eagles podcast. Too many birds in my head right now talking about a Ravens player here, Chuck Clark, who last season for the starting uh, Ravens, Two interceptions, 12 pass breakups. Do the Broncos need a starting safety? Not particularly, right? You've got a lot of depth here. Um, You've got a lot of starting type of caliber here. We'll go full screen to me because we can unpack this idea a little bit more before checking out some other stuff. But the reason why I tossed Chuck Clark on here is what if the Broncos do what they did last year? You know what I'm saying? What if George Payton goes, wow. I want some DBs. We can't have enough of them. You know what I mean? We cannot have enough defensive backs this day and the age in the NFL playing the likes of Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Derek Carr. The list goes on and on. We'll look more at this in just a second. But first, I want to tell everyone watching about an awesome sale going on right now at Fanatics because you can get a Bronco shirt 25% off by checking out chatsports.com slash Bronco shirt. I put the link in the comments and the description. Super easy. Click on it. Takes you right over to Fanatics. It's on sale. I can't promise you to be on sale forever. So get it today if you want to have an awesome Broncos t-shirt as the weather starts to warm up and that snow uh, goes away from Denver that dumped on us uh, not too long ago. All right, Broncos defense. This is what I was trying to get at. They will feature several defensive backs this year. This is something Ejero Evero, the new defensive coordinator in Denver, has talked about. They want to go fast. They want to go athletic. They want to go away from the traditional four down linemen, three linebackers, or three down linemen and four linebackers. They want extra DBs on the field. Teams are passing it more. Wake up. And if they don't want to get caught behind going up against Mahomes and Herbert and hell, even Carr, they might look to try and add an extra DB like a Chuck Clark to add some depth to that position on the Broncos roster. Speaking of DBs, a couple days ago, like last week, we started the show off by saying, hey, what was the who's a better Broncos legend? Was it Steve Atwater or was it Von Miller? This time, let's narrow it down to just defensive backs. Which one is it, Atwater or Champ Bailey? Put the jersey number for your favorite Broncos defensive back down below in the comment section. Fifth and final trade target is Al Woods. We're kind of digging deep here. One, you know that George has John Schneider's number probably on speed dial after fleecing him for the Russell Wilson trade. So what's one more trade? And I think if you're looking to... Find some position of needs for the Broncos. Maybe Al Woods can fill that with some extra depth at the defensive tackle spot. Last year, one and a half sacks, five QB hits. He's not going to be a game-changing defensive tackle. But let's just call a spade a spade. The Broncos' defensive line last year was lacking a little bit of a a football DNA. You know what I mean? It wasn't the hardest-hitting group out there. And so when you look at the depth chart here for the Broncos, 
outside of DJ Jones and Draymond Jones, can you confidence, confidently say McTelvin Ajim or Mike Purcell is going to be an impact player? Not really. Maybe you want to go with the rookie EU, who I like a lot, but OTAs will tell us if George Payton likes him a lot. That's me overreacting to just a couple of practices, but that's what we do in the offseason. So my train of thought was what if the Broncos, after seeing some practice over the summer and into training camp, these aren't trades that have to happen today, go, yeah, we don't like our defensive line a ton. So if we can get someone for cheap, we're going to do it. Earlier this week, at the end of last week, I should say, we put out a call to everyone to comment more than 53 times to break the chat sports record. And wow, did you guys answer the call. So let's give some shout outs to those people that commented more than 53 individual times. Two pregnant women and Angelo De La Rosa, by far the two leading people on the channel. You guys killed it. T Brody, 4 Chain Ninja the Goat. Nuggets man was right there along with I'm the man who just started commenting random players. Keanu Martiargi. I don't think I got that right. I'm sorry, Keanu. Yeah, producer Jeremy shaking his head at me already. And then Bill or oh, Bill Bell L. Okay, that's a tongue twister right there. Shout out to all of you guys who subscribed and commented more than 54 times to break the chat sports record. Way to show up, Broncos country. Make sure you follow us here on the Broncos Breakdown if you want more Broncos coverage. Plus, I'm on Twitter, at Matthew Petey, tweeting about the NFL, tweeting about the Broncos, keeping you guys informed. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us on today's show. Appreciate for everyone, everyone who clicked on to it. And I'll see you guys later with more Broncos news and rumors.